Okay, I admit that race last week was f***ing bananas, but I still got beef with this joint, so I'm going to carry out the video anyway. Now, I'll preface this by saying that the Circuit Pour car is a fantastic facility, although if you ask around, opinion of the track is kind of strong. It's the Valtteri Bottas of Formula 1 circuits. Good in some parts, pretty weak in others. Yet, no matter what it throws at us, it has a very loyal fan club. A lot of slander being thrown around there, I know, but it's kind of a motif with me, as are these fixed F1 videos, which are becoming a f***ing meme at this point. But whatever. While it's a great facility in a lot of regards, it kind of lacks character and has been the scene of some incredibly boring racing since its return to the Formula 1 schedule back in 2018. Except for last week, obviously. Why this is the case? I really don't know. Could it be down to the modern F1 car's inability to follow a car that's within 30 miles of them? Could it be down to the layout of the poorer car circuit itself? After all, this thing has 167 different configurations. Sounds like too many, but you can never have enough configurations. I guess I can cut to the chase here. If there is one improvement that I would make to this circuit, it would be to remove the chicane on the back straight. Get rid of the DRA zone that's there, so that it'll be one big drafting zone all the way down to the sweeper. But to be honest, even this probably wouldn't solve all the problems. And really, a lot of the overtaking that happened last week weekend happened at that very corner so I guess I can piss off now can't I? Maybe use that sprinkler system on the track so that at the flick of a switch the track can be soaked and force everyone onto wet tires without there being a cloud in the sky. This kind of literal blue sky thinking is why for this video I've broadened the rules a little bit. I asked around to my subscribers to see how they would improve the French Grand Prix saying that it could be improvements to the circuit pour a car or potentially moving to a different facility altogether. Although there is a problem with that. Throughout the entirety of France there are only two circuits that are eligible to host the French Grand Prix, Paul Ricard and Manny Cor. Oh well well, why not go to Manny Cor then? I mean it's a spectacular track right? Well, as we'll discuss later, it's not quite that simple. Could we just upgrade another French circuit to grade 1 specs? Could we just make another cookie cutter street circuit, like every other Grand Prix organizer nowadays? Well, as with the previous video with Catalonia and Monaco, I asked around on Twitter to see what they could produce. And given what we've seen from them in the previous two videos, my guessing is that they've done another bang up job of it. Even reversing the layout would be better than it currently is. I mean, maybe. But also remember, this was before last weekend's race. We go to Manny Core. Is it a little bit ironic that this came from perspective? Because I'm about to land some. So for those of you that don't know, Manny Core was used for the French Grand Prix back in 1991, all the way through to 2008. Now, if you haven't watched cars race around here, it's such an awesome circuit to actually drive. But when it came to the racing, it wasn't really great because there's not really a lot of overtaking opportunities on that circuit and especially with the current cars that we have it wouldn't be much better time travel back between 1986 and 1990 yeah sure everyone would advocate for that maybe not Guzelman. just nascar it and make it an oval jake you've already got any car back at home you know if i didn't know any better i would have thought that sam sent me a star signal kind of thing kind of like shoulder of orion the circuit did host the french grand prix way back in the 50s i don't know if it's the best place to be holding it today just get rid of the rules and let each driver pick whichever track layout they want to use really constructive there jody out of all available layouts the best one is definitely manny core what did i just say adding braking zones also more speed to make the braking zones harder i tell you this is a very thorough job that he's done. Jeez, not bad. Tighten the first two corners, add a second chicane, and also the chicane on the back straight has been modelled after the pyramids of Giza. Not enough people realise France has a gem of a circuit in Dijon. Insanely fast and flowing. It would be an amazing venue for F1 if it was brought up to standards. Yeah, and a sub minute lap time. Use the landscaping tool from City Skylines and add some elevation variations across the track. Come on, Ryan. This is a serious channel with some serious answers sometimes. Place a double yellow line down the middle of the circuit and have races going in both directions. 1 to 10 race in regular and 11 to 12 race backwards. Slightly dangerous, I'd imagine. Move it to Kailami and rename it the South African Grand Prix. I hope the FIA realized how many people want an African Grand Prix. I did a whole bloody song with Simdane on the matter. Read the room, guys. It's simple, actually. Just turn on the sprinklers at any random time during the race. Boom! Let's make it even more boring, mate. I think the main issue with Paul Ricard is that it's a test track first and race track second. Here? I will assume it's not a test track anymore. Have gravel traps to punish mistakes? Yep, I like that concept. Turn 1 to 2 will be less tight and flat out. Okay. Turn 3 to 6 kills the flow of the circuit. It's now an open chicane. In Interesting concept, and I would agree with that actually. The turns 8 to 9 chicane is tighter and better for overtaking. Turn 11, no longer a long right hander. Less effect from dirty air. And I see you've also failed to mention that really tight chicane that you got down there. That's a totally different circuit. Just take the chicane out of the Mistral straight and have no DRS zone so that we can have some proper old school slipstreaming. Great minds think alike, Lewis. Use literally every road surface available for the entire track. We might not get any more overtaking, but at least it'll be entertaining watching the drivers get lost on every lap. That's 
A 1 million IQ answer, that is. Drag race tournament with brackets and everything. But where are the strolls going to land their two private jets? Like, did you not think that through? For me, just add grass and gravel. That's a general consensus of every new track. I mean, why not? Can't be any worse than having what we already have. Yep, run at Le Mans. And run with the tour scaring and still max out halfway down the straight. The Bugatti circuit, however, that's... That's worth exploring. Bring back Sherrard. The French Nürburgring. It can be improved with minimal modernization. That's actually a dope circuit, even by today's standards. Sure, it's a little bit dangerous, but as Helmut Marko will attest to, there's more to the circuit than what meets the eye. The floor is lava. Outside the box, blue sky thinking at work here. I like it. A redone sector one. Much tighter chicane. Could work. I'd like to delve into the mind of the person who made this. Or maybe I don't. But having said that, at least no one sent me any more nukes. Hmm. Well, after all those suggestions, my question in retrospect is that after the race we just had last week, was that a one-off? Or is closer competition bringing out the best in that circuit and making it out to be quite an underrated one? If that's the case, then I just wasted everyone's time here. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Drop a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you're awesome, and always remember, keep it respectful, be wholesome, don't be a manus, and as always, I'll see you all later.